Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain the 2.5 degree rule in VSEPR theory that is valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. So I've chosen to explain this rule using three different molecules each with four electron pairs around their central atom. Now the only difference is that the first molecule methane that has four bonding pairs. We can see it's got four single bonds and each of these single bonds contains one pair of electrons. The second molecule, that's ammonia, has three bonding pairs of electrons in the three single bonds and it's got a non-bonding pair as well. That's a lone pair of electrons, an extra pair that's left over that's not involved in bonding. And lastly, we've got a water molecule, two bonding pairs of electrons and two lone pairs of electrons. So if we look at this molecule, it has four bonding pairs, zero lone pairs. It's tetrahedral and the bond angle for a tetrahedral molecule is 109.5 degrees. Now I've written down here BP, that stands for bonding pairs, and LP, that stands for lone or non-bonding pairs. And we can see a pattern. So as we go from methane to ammonia, we've decreased the number of bonding pairs by one, but we've gained a lone pair each time. So we've still got the same number of electron pairs, there's four in each molecule, but we're gaining one extra lone pair each time. And if we look at the bond angle, for every extra lone pair that we gain, the bond angle decreases by 2.5 degrees. And we can see that here. So 109.5 degrees bond angle for this tetrahedral molecule decreases to 107 degrees when we add a lone pair, so we we'll think of it like we're swapping a bonding pair for a lone pair. When we swap another bonding pair for another lone pair, it decreases again by 2.5 degrees to 104.5. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. Thank you.